Good morning. It is uh, Monday, the 6th of May, and uh, I'm in the Ben Lores Nature Reserve. And uh, slightly different this morning, I've brought my two of my daughters with me and uh, one of their boyfriends. And we had set off this morning, reasonably good weather, and we were here to climb Ben Glass and hopefully Ben Lores. But uh, the snow has come on and uh, I'm just keeping a check on it because it wasn't expected to be like this and uh, if it stays stays on and doesn't brighten up anymore um, I'm probably going to abandon this but I will start the recording anyway just in the off chance that it does brighten up so we will see how it goes but anyway a couple of things about Ben Glass and Ben Lors is that Ben Glass is 1,103 meters high and uh, Ben Lors is 1,214 meters high and is the 10th highest Munro in Scotland so that's the view that I've got just now which is not very inspiring uh, but we'll see how it goes but uh, yeah Scotland in May yeah brilliant Okay, let's go. <sighs> I've got two in the party today who have not been on Monroe's before. I've just established that because Cameron thought he had been on one before. He's told me the name yet and it wasn't Monroe. So, Bronwyn, this will be your Second attempt at Monroe, believe it or not. Because oh, right, okay. you, same with Charlotte, about 10 years ago, almost climbed up to the top of Ben Lomond. Yep. And we had to abandon it because the weather got so bad. Yep. So when you look at that up there, do you think you can make it? Feeling confident? I'm hoping to, I don't know. Alright. The weather is holding at the moment, but what? I think just to be on the safe side, what we're going to do is if I can at least get two of these guys up to the top of Ben Glass then they'll at least have ticked off one Monroe uh, Ben Lowers probably isn't going to happen I'll need to come back oh another God, day and do that one uh, but let's have let's have a look and see but I think I'm up at the lookout point at the moment let's have a look yeah the weather is holding enough, I think, that we can uh, get to the top of Ben Glass at least. Okay, I'll sign off just now and catch up with you again further up that shoulder. Okay, so the weather's still holding, so I'm going to continue to push on. Uh, Daughter number two. Charlotte, aka Sherpa Lulu, who was with me on the Ben Nevis climb and the Ben Loman climb. First time she's been out since and she's absolutely feeling it. Ha <laughs> ha. And Cameron, Cameronski, the better half. Have I got to say that, Cameron? Yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. Okay, so Cameron's never been up in Monroe before. He thought he had, but he hadn't. Um, so this hopefully is going to be his first one. At least if we can get him to the top of Ben Glass. It's uh, not much further, just up there, so not too much further to go. Probably be up there for 10 o'clock, no scratch that, probably be up there for about quarter past 10. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah anyway, the weather's still holding so I'm going to play on and get these guys to the top of this one at least and we'll take it for there. Okay, check back in when they soon. You can probably eat that snow. Yeah. Oh, look, that's here. Oh, my God. Hold on a minute. Smile, Bronwyn. What? 
Okay guys, there's the top up there. Thank God. There. Oh, oh come on. I thought I was here. Oh. <laughs> Stop taking me. I know. I hate you. Not far to go. Come and smile, guys, smile. Are you glad you did it? No. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm hungry. Uh, if the wind stays away, we can get some lunch up here. Okay. There's the summit up there. A oh, bang glass. I should be. I really should be. So we have just came off the top of Ben Glass, which is Monroe number 30 for me, which was brilliant. Uh, Monroe number 3 for Charlotte and Monroe number 1 for Bronman and Cameron. So I'm really proud of them for giving it a go and doing it. Uh, we're not going to go back down the same way, we're going to just head to the Belak and go down the, the bypass route, which is down that way. But I have managed, because the weather's still okay and it's not that cold and we've had a, some food and uh, recharged the batteries, I've managed to convince them that we're just going to plow on to Ben Lors, which is the main attraction. And uh, it was the reason why I came here anyway, was to try and get up to the top of Ben Lors. But uh, because the weather's still so good, we're just going to plow on see how it goes. If it changes and deteriorates we've got the bypass route here which is good. We'll just head down that way. But yeah I will catch up with you further along this trail. Okay bye for now. This way. Smile, Bronwyn. You are nearly at the top. Let's go up together. Hey, I'm good. Well done, Brandon! Well done, kid. Well done. Here, look. Smile. Well done. Well done.
Ooh. Eight. Well done, you two, Cameron and Sherpa Lulu. Yeah. Feel about it, boy. There's no drinks up here, I tell you. No. Right, come on up here. Right. Right, I've got something to tell oh you. Is. God. Oh. Yeah. What's the name of this mountain that you're on just now? Glass. No, Glass was that one there. This is Ben Lors. Ben God's Lors. sake. Sure. Right. You have just climbed the 10th highest mountain in Scotland. What? What? So well done to two of you. If I'd told you that down there, you'd never have done it. Yeah. So you just climbed the 10th highest <laughs> Monroe. <laughs> That is me at the end of this Ben Lors adventure and I uh, wasn't sure it was going to happen or not because the weather this morning was so ropey. Uh, we had hailstones, we had snow and then it brightened up after about an hour and it stayed good for the whole day so that's fantastic. Um, my daughters and Cameron they really enjoyed it today as well so often they get out to do things like McNose. Um, so I know they've moaned a bit about it from time to time on the way up, but they they are buzzing. They have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that today. And uh, I'm glad that they've got to experience it. Uh, their generation really is that one that's just hooked in on their phones and media and social media. And they don't really don't know life without it. Uh, and I sometimes feel as much as I love social media and I love everything about the internet I still feel kind of obliged to remind them about how good it is just to live your life outside of your phone and computers and uh, I was reading about a study recently uh, conducted in some university in Nottingham and they're saying that the average teenager although my daughters are in their early 20s now spend something like six hours a day on their phones and uh, it's really scary that because when you do the math on it times that by seven days and over a year that's 91 days of your, your life spent on a phone and uh, okay you know if you're watching stuff that's educational and it's improving you and adding to your life then I'm all for it but if you're just wasting your time watching needless junk and spending your whole life indoors there's got to be something seriously wrong with that uh, but this whole trip we started at 6 this morning it's just after 12 and there's 6 hours and uh, you know We've been outdoors, we've had some amazing views, we put some great memories in the bank for years to come to look back on and uh, we could have wasted that just sitting on a phone or on a PC or something. Anyway, that's kind of like the lecture over. I'm just trying to get the emphasis across that as much as the internet is a phenomenal thing and I love it myself, it's the outer net that you really get the best connection in and uh, so I'm going to wrap this up and just say thanks for watching this vlog and uh, please do you know get inspired and get out and do things and come and see places like this especially if it's on your doorstep I mean Ben Lohr's up there is just a phenomenal day out the nature reserve is stunning it's beautiful you get Ben Glass on the way up as well so you get two Monroes for the price of one basically. So yeah, uh, I'm going to catch up with the rest of these guys now. But I'll sign off, leave you with this view, 
say thank you for watching and um, I will see you next time. Thanks again. Bye bye.